here we are for the unboxing of Sushi Girl. Blu-ray and DVD unboxing. This is another Dollar Tree pickup. Not great. Just can't find anything good there anymore. Once you went through it like I did, you don't find anything. But, um, it looks like it has, um, some notable people like Mark Hamill in it and stuff. Even though it's not one of those regular movies. Magnolia Home Entertainment. They're good for, um, documentaries. I don't know what they like for this. Now, the DVD and, um... Blu-ray moving around inside the slipcover, which is kind of jammed shut inside of this case. Yeah, it won't move. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, well, this is a long time ago because there's that sticker for security. That's another thing to keep in mind. Security stickers are always something good. Open this up. See? Oh, there's no codes inside or anything, even though this took, yeah, because something like this one probably won't have a code anyways. Um, open it up. It comes right off. I don't even care if um, the disc gets a little scratched up over there. I'm trying to get rid of these stickies. They're annoying. Okay, so this is the Blu-ray. Actually, really basic. Couldn't they have put some of the people on the front cover? Jeez. Um... It's in good condition, which is some dust and all that. Then you look at the DVD, which is, um, looks like the, um, Blu-ray is a little darker for some reason. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe a small little mark on the top. That's it. So, it worked out pretty good. Oh, I didn't go over the other things, like the ratings. Um, rated R for bloody violence, torture, language nudity and brief drug use and um it's, it's 2012 around that time and how long is it 99 minutes that's another reason why you gotta if the length of a movie is really short where it doesn't touch 90 minutes sometimes it's usually a shitty movie to me um yeah that's it um i don't think anyone really cares to have two copies of this movie but there's two of them in here bye bye